All right, guys, so in this section, in this part of this section, I want to demonstrate both feature detection and drag and drop uh, in, the same, in the same video. So the first thing we have to do here is go to modernizer.com, and modernizer doesn't have an E between the Z and the R. Just make that clear. And we have a development version and a production version. Um, we're going to download the development. And this is what I was talking about, about uh, generating your file. Now, these are all the things that Modernizer tests for or can detect. And we can pick and choose which we want. Um, you know, we could disable a lot of these if we wanted to lighten the file a little bit and increase the performance on our website. You'll see we have drag and drop right here. Obviously, we're going to keep that checked. I'm actually going to keep all these checked, but just to, to let you know that you can pick and choose. And then you generate the file, and then you can download the file. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I set this drag and drop an empty folder on my desktop. I'm going to download it to that, and that's where I'm going to build our application. And I'm just going to save it with the default name. Okay. Now you'll see if you go in the program, right here, this is the section 2 program files. And this is what we're going to be doing is we're going to have this, this, um, this div, this box here. And we can drag and drop the HTML logo into the box. Nothing spectacular, but uh, it's, a, it's a good little introduction, introductory type of um, application. So you'll see if we reload, it goes back. Now you can imagine the things you'd be able to do with drag and drop in a browser, um, file management and, and, and so forth. So the next thing, let's close this and go to our new folder. And all we have here is the modernizer JavaScript file. Now I just want to create an index file, okay? And I'm going to save it in that folder right next to the JavaScript. And I'm going to call it index.html. All right, so now we should have, we have index. Now we just need the image. So I'm actually going to go back into the project files. Okay, and get the image. Copy that. And I'll bring that, paste it. All right, so now we have all our files that we need for to build this. All right, I'm going to leave this open, and then let's open our our index.html with Notepad++, and it's an empty file. So right here, I'm just going to paste in. Let me just grab. We just need our standard layout, our, our boil, boilerplate for our HTML file, okay, head. And we'll put a title of um, just drag and drop. Okay, I'll save that. And let's just open our file and we have nothing so the first thing I want to do here is create is just set up the the divs um, in the image so we're gonna do let's just look at this while we do this we're gonna put in a heading tag in h1 and we're just gonna say drag the HTML5 logo into the box. Okay, I'll save. I'm a little OCD with this. I like to check every little thing I, I change or add. I like to check. So the next thing under the header, we're going to make the div for the, the box to put the HTML5 logo in. Okay. So we'll say div id equals, I don't know, div1. 
and now we want to add some actually I'm not going to add the JavaScript um, attributes yet so I'll just close the div and then under that we want to do image src source and we're going to put html5 dot jpeg okay it's in the same the image is in the same folder as this file so we don't need to add any kind of directories or anything like that so let's save this see what we got and we just have we have a div which you can't see yet because we haven't added a border or, or gave it a size so now let's do that and I'm not going to link any CSS style sheets I'm just going to do the style in the header just because it's convenient and for style we want to do the div sorry about that we want to do div1 and what do we want to do here let's do width 240 pixels okay and height height will be also 240 pixels let's just throw some padding of 10 pixels and let's do border okay we'll do the shorthand for the border so we'll say one pixel and we want it to be uh, gray and solid and we also want to float this left okay so let's save that all right so now we have our box and our logo now now we want to add the attributes for the JavaScript so we can call a function on on an event okay so the first thing I want to do is make the logo I want to make the image draggable so we're gonna add the draggable attribute and we're gonna set that to true okay and the next thing I want to do to the image is I want to add the <coughs> on drag start attribute and you probably remember the we talked about these in the slideshow in the section slideshow so here we want to have the drag event happen and we'll have event as the parameter okay so on drag start when we start to drag it it's gonna call the drag event the dra sorry the, the drag method or function whatever you want to call it and now we want to do to the div to the empty div here we want to put on drop okay it's the on drop attribute or event and what we want to do there is the drop event okay I mean the drop method with the event and then we want to add another attribute called on drag over okay and that is going to call the allow drop function and we'll have event as the parameter as well okay so that should be it for the HTML we have draggable true on drag start we'll call the drag method on drop we'll call the drop method and on drag over we'll call the allow drop method so actually I should have show I should have showed you how to do how to use modernizer first but um, we'll just do it after it's very simple to implement so let's just get this we'll get all this done with and then we'll, we'll implement modernizer and um, we'll have an if you know if drag and drop is is able on the browser than to then to continue so um, let's just do our JavaScript I'm gonna do it in the head on the style I'm gonna do it in the head section I'm not gonna link any extra files just for simplicity so we'll do script type 
text JavaScript. Okay, and then close the script. Alright, so now actually you know what? I'm gonna implement modernizer now. So we have the file that we downloaded right here. I'm gonna actually just copy this name, okay? So we can include it. We just need to include or link it to the HTML page, and we do that in the head. So um, we want to do script type equals text JavaScript, and we want to do source, and we want to put that file name in the source. And then we just want to close it and then add our ending script tag. Okay, so now the modernizer file is is uh, linked to this HTML file, and I'm going to just test that out really quick by opening the JavaScript file. And I'm not going to explain any of this because the modernizer file is pretty large and is very would be very very complicated for me to try to explain. So, but I just want to make sure it's linked, so I'm going to do an alert and write it's linked. Okay, and then we'll save that, reload, and it's linked. So now just make sure you get rid of the alert, save it, and close it. We won't, we won't need to open that again. Alright, so now I just want to do a little test um, to see if, if, um, if drag and drop is enabled on our browser, okay? And it's very simple. Actually, first I want to explain something. We're going to do All right, so this right here is the syntax of how you would test for something. Uh, if you wanted to test for canvas, you would have if modernizer.canvas and then whatever. Um, I'm going to go back to drag and drop. But there is something, if you want to use the drag and drop, you have to add another piece of code. I'm going to do that right now. You have to add another uh, condition. And it's this window.file reader. And the reason for this is that th there is, in fact, a set of drag and drop event handlers, and they're supported in IE8, and they go all the way back to IE5. And these are they, they are the same events in the old version because the HTML5 standard basically formalized what IE was doing already. So we have to test for this uh, in order for some of the older IE browsers to be able to um, to tell if drag and drop is enabled or not. So what I'm going to do is just uh, create what's going to happen if the browser is in fact able to to do the drag and drop. Okay, and I'm just going to do a document write. And whoops, I'm going to say this browser can use drag and drop. Okay, and it's just going to write that. It's just going to print that to the to the browser to the screen. And then if it doesn't, we're just going to add a not whoop, a user cannot use drag and drop. Let's save that. Let's reload our Chrome browser. And it says this user can use drag and drop. This is the latest version of Chrome. And if you have the latest version of any bro any popular browser, I believe that they all will can handle drag and drop. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this IE tester, which is a very cool tool for uh, any kind of web developer. You can test sites on all versions of IE. Um, I'm going to open IE8 and go to that same page and now you'll see it says this browser cannot use drag and drop 
So, and I'll show you this. We haven't implemented the actual application yet, but I'll leave this open so that we can uh, after we program it. I did want to do the modernizer thing first before we even did anything, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to keep this for the not if it's not available, and we're going to put our code, our drag and drop code, in between here in the in the if, you know, if it's if it's um, if that feature is enabled. So we're going to start with one second. I'm going to start with the allow drop function, which is right here. Okay. So we're going to do function allow drop and the allow drop function is going to take the event parameter and all we're going to do here is do ev dot prevent default remember we talked about that in the slideshow we're just preventing the, de the default behavior. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is the drag. We're going to do the drag function, and that's going to take it an event parameter. And that you'll see is right here. So the image, when we grab the image and we start to drag it, on drag start it's gonna we're gonna call the drag function which we're gonna define right here okay and it takes event and then we have the event parameter so here we're gonna do ev dot data transfer now this is the same code that we did on the um, on the slideshow so we're gonna set the data not the data the data and we're gonna set that to I'm going to set that first the type will be text okay and then ev dot target dot id so that looks like that's what we want I'm going to separate this a little so now we're going to do the drop event Now for the drop event, we're going to call the uh, the uh, allow drop function. I mean the prevent default function. I said function, so I started typing. It. All right, so ev dot prevent default, and now we want to create a variable and we'll call it data. And what that's going to do, we're going to be the ev. Um, Data, yeah. Data transfer. Dot. Get data. Okay. We did set data up there, and now we're doing get data. And that's going to be text. And the last line, we want to do the append chi. Uh, the ev. Dot. Target. Dot. Append. Child and child, and then we want to do document dot get element by ID, and we want to get the um, data ID. Okay. One. Oh, okay. I, I actually missed. The image should have an ID. We should have done this before. The image should have an ID of drag one. Okay. Um, that looks good. Let's save that. It looks good. And there we go. We can drag it over and place it in the box. You reload. You can keep doing it. So that's that's that. Um, oh, I, I wanted to show you uh, 
if we did it in, in, a, in a browser that doesn't allow drag and drop. So let's refresh this. And you'll see nothing happens. I can't bring it over. So that's working. It's all working correctly. Um, that's it for drag and drop and feature detection. Next, um, we'll get into probably media, some video and audio stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching.